Hey guys, today we're going to look at my second favorite deck. My first favorite deck is obviously Steph Manfield's Esper Planeswalker because it has a certain Narset in it, and I'm really glad to see that card. But anyway, Black Green Aristocrat by LSV. This deck saw a lot of action, uh, meaning that Wizard of the Coast has highlighted this particular deck. Online, it's about $247. On paper, it's $307, a very, very inexpensive deck as of this recording. So let's take a look at it. Blister Pod, Loam, Dusk Watch Recruiter. I mean, Dusk Watch Recruiter is so good. Like, I like it a lot. I'm surprised I like it so much. Um, Elvis Visionary, Cut Fro. Having multiples of this card makes it so painful. Like, hey, I'm going to kill your creatures that's okay i'll gain life and deal you damage and it comes to a point where having a double having two copies of the card makes your board lethal and it can't really take care of it you kind of want your opponent to kill your stuff uh catacomb anytime you can like just like blister pod anytime you can get two creatures for the price of one is worth doing in this type of deck uh nantusco husk that's your sack outlet it's pretty good. The breakout card of this deck is Crypto Lift Right. Now, this card I did not know very much about until the Pro Tour. Essentially, it's one in a green, and then you can tap creatures to produce mana. Well, if you have all these cheap creatures, pretty much you're producing a ton. And then you have Coco. Collected Company is almost 20 bucks right now. It is probably the card to beat at the top 8 for Shadows over Innistrad. Now we'll take a look at the land base, uh, Forest, Hissing Quagmire. I would not be surprised if Hissing Quagmire does go up in price a little bit. Lanawar Waste, Swamp, West Vale Abbey. Abbey is actually a card. It is very good in this type of deck where you have creatures that you want to sack anyway to gain life and do fun stuff with. Cyborg is a very interesting cyborg. You have a playset of Transgress the Mind. Did not see this card being good, but apparently every pro is playing it now. Uh, four Ultimate Price, which is very good. Flesh Bag, one of them. Tireless Tracker, Udavon Mystery, and then two Kalidas. I was expecting to see a Vampire deck. Did not see one. This is probably as close to a Vampire deck as we're going to get for the foreseeable future. Lots of value. This deck is just goes to value town and just gets discounts and stuff and beats you down. Very strong deck.